Well, we want to take you now to part two of the meter story where the fishing community along Lake Victoria has started to reap the benefits of the new meter bridge. However, environmentalists and some of the residents have a deep-seated fears over the effects of this bridge to their fish stocks. In the second part of the Mbita Bridge story, we examine the environmental concerns as well as the safety issues surrounding the bridge. Kabla ikuje kujengwa, tulikuwa na shida nyingi sana. Kitambo, watu alikuwa wanakufa kwele, wakirivuka ngambo hile. These developments are of environmental significance. Nimesaidia wanabiashara, wagubi, na wenye wanatumia samaki kwa kukula. The construction of the Mbita Bridge, which commenced in early March 2013, is considered as a source of hope for a region that had been locked out from the mainland for over 20 years. You see, we have Rusinga Highland across the lake, and we have Mbita Point on this lake. And way back, of course, the only mode of transport communication, so transport was uh, canals and all those uh, small, uh, small ports. And you know those ones were a bit dangerous. And uh, I think early 1980s, um, the government undertook to build a causeway between the two, between the island and the mainland. And uh, of course, a causeway means they have to fill the whole stretch with boulders of uh, stones and so on. And uh, that served the purpose during that time. The bridge has provoked a frenzy in the once sleepy town of Mbita as locals embrace the new piece of infrastructure. Yes. Juile current in Atoka, Upande, wa Uganda, in Apita, Apa, na Omena, in Apareka, Pande, Yo, Ingini. Tango Bridge, Jengwe, Tumepata na Fu Sana, Sana Sana, Upande, wa Transportation. Hakuna Q, Hakuna Jam. Idede Samaki, Mongazeka, Kwa Wingi, Na Ways of transport, Transportation, Ipi, Mekwa, Kwa Sababu, Apo Kitamba, Wali, Kama Badu, Tujapata Bridge, Ilukui, Lampatikana, Minis, Akuleta Samaki, Mpaka, Isa, Idingini, Lukuanga, Shida, Kama kumenyesha, but kwa sai, hiyo bridge metusaidia kwa sababu samaki nangia kwa time. Samaki? Ndiyo maisha yao watu wambita, Subaland. Hii ndiyo maisha yao, hata hiyo ndiyo, ndiyo shamba yao wanaangalia sana sana. Tunasikia visuri sana, hata pesa hiko. While the bridge continues to be the talk of town, there are families that lost their loved ones to the deep waters before the bridge was built. Kulingatisha kitambo, watu walikuwa wanakufa kwele, wakirivuka ngambo hile, watu wamekufa. Ok, sayi, tuko sawa. Ju watu wanavuka daraja, wa, daraja wakenda hile saidi ngine ya rusenga. Awana uoga yoyote. Si, ilikuwa imetengenezwa lakini haikuwa nzuri. Watu walikuwa wanavuka tu na magari zilikuwa zinapita. Ilikuwa ni daraja lakini ilikuwa chini. Atunge kuwa tunaweza kuvuka na injini, hao hizi na manini masini za zingine. I catch a boat ride with one of the young leaders of the area. He narrates how over 50 people have died while crossing the causeway, which was the only means of crossing from the mainland to the island. <laughs> The bridge is now a safe mode of crossing. Before the bridge was built, the Mbita Causeway was merely a collection of stones and soil. It, it, yeah, it has been a privilege for the people around here because uh, there are no much uh, ferries and uh, boats and uh, yeah, these modern boats. So they normally use this one. But the only problem is that uh, in occasions where there are uh, too much waves, like you see now it's calm, and this is, it only happens once in a while. 
from noon uh, till uh, night, it will be a different scenario altogether. Yeah. And uh, in this region, actually, we've experienced so many deaths uh, using this canoe. Yeah. It's only good enough to still alive, but you can't count. Till last year and this year, it could be over 50, over 50 lives. So using such like boats or canoes was the most preferred mode of transportation. But now, with the bridge, it has lessened the burden for many people and they look forward to better days, not only for their safety, but for business. This blocked the continuous free flow of water, which had also aggravated environmental degradation and affected the water quality. With the opening of the causeway, many fishermen have begun reaping bountiful harvests as fish flow freely on the channel. A visit to a local fish processing zone is a testament of the booming business. <laughs> Tangu bridge ishe tulikuwa tunapata pesa kwa wingi ni mpaka saa hii tunaona mabadiliko na hapo nyuma kwa sababu hapo wali tulikuwa tunapata pesa kidogo lakini kwa saa hii muongezeka kwa ile kipimo ya juu sana ya yeah, bitu zimebadilika kabisa najua kwa mfano hii this mara yetu ya kwanza kuangalia bridge kuona bridge kama hii kwa ziwa Victoria naona pande hiyo wa samaki sasa naweza cheza na samaki za pande naweza cheza na samaki wa pande nyingine tana sana kuzaa samaki sasa imekuwa Aliyaju sana. The production is too high. So I don't want to put out. When you want to sell milk, say at least we tapaka. So as at least to not fry it. We are going to put out a shilling in Mbili, but we are going to put out a shilling in Mtatu Amsini because of the idea of sell milk in Although fish stocks are projected to rise, environmentalists warn that sustainable fishing must be practiced to ensure that the ecosystem of the area is not degraded. Mbeta Causeway was originally done without regarding to the residents of water. Who are the residents of water? The residents of water like fish, hippos, crocodiles, and all other people that live in water. They were not taken into consideration. And if you go to Mbeta right now, you will see the hippos passing the causeway. And you can see the water is beginning to flush, which means in the next five, ten years, the water of the Gulf or the Winam Gulf will be flushed and will be, might come back to its original state, but it is difficult because of other factors. Abiyagina. KTN News.